Sarah Davies and Zoe Smith have for a long time been the number one and two British weightlifters in no particular order. Not just purely because of their credentials, but also the length of time that they've been competing. What makes watching the progress of these two even more exciting has been their competitiveness with each other. At the start of the 18 month Olympic qualifying period, they were both competing in the 64 kilo class. At times with fewer than 10 Roby points out of a couple of thousand separating them. With the new rules stating that a country can only send one athlete per weight class per country, this meant that only one of them could be selected. It's the same situation as athletes like Lu Jiajun and Li Dayin, or Loredana Toma and Irina Lepsa. And so it seemed just a little bit crazy to British weightlifting to put two of their Olympic hopefuls into the same category where they would naturally only be able to send one. And so they decided to move Zoe Smith down to the lighter 59 kilo category where she could attempt to qualify in conjunction with Sarah, going up against the likes of Kuo Sim Chen, Cho Hyo Sim and Rebecca Koha, rather than Deng Wei, Lara Dana and Rimun Sim. Now, in case you hadn't realized, this competition that we're watching now is from the Roma World Cup back in February of early 2020. So before we get into how their qualification process has looked thus far, where they're sitting in the rankings and how the delay in the Olympics is likely to affect them, it's worth going over their best numbers. Also, if you want to watch more from the two British superstars, you can head over to the Weightlifting House Patreon page, where this week we have a full training session from Zoe and Sarah from the World Championships. It's actually their final heavy day before the competition, so it's a fun watch. The link's down below in the description, along with the link to the Instagram and YouTube channel of Barbell Stories, because whilst I was in Rome and preoccupied filming in the back room, they very, very kindly helped me film all of this footage, so if you enjoy the quality of this footage uh, and you want to see some more of it, then head over to their uh, Instagram and YouTube channel for some fantastic quality weightlifting content. So Bubble Stories, thank you very much for helping out Weightlifting House. Zoe Smith's best lifts as a 64 kilo lifter in competition are 100 kilos in the snatch and 128 kilos in the clean and jerk, whereas Sarah's are 101 kilos in the snatch and 126 kilos in the clean and jerk, though she did hit 128 kilos in training a couple of months ago during the session that I posted of Bodhi snatching 181 kilos, so I'll upload that full session at some point to YouTube too. And so you can see that it's pretty clear that they are neck and neck in terms of their numbers, presumably both pushing each other to higher levels. Since cutting down to 59 kilos, however, Zoe actually has had the best performance by Roby points of 867, made up of a 93 kilo snatch and a 123 kilo clean and jerk. Even if Sarah's best total as a 64 kilo lifter gets the 10% Roby bonus that Zoe got from hitting that total at the gold tier world championships, she is still slightly shy of Zoe's. 
Sarah, however, does jump then back into the driver's seat because she's competed in six competitions now and sits in an Olympic spot in the top eight in the world, whereas Zoe sits in the continental spot just behind the top eight. So while Zoe is still in the running to qualify, she hasn't yet completed two required competitions in her new lighter weight class. And so she's going to have to make the most of the extension of the third qualifying period to make sure that she competes one more time in the lighter category, something that Sarah currently doesn't have to do. Having competed internationally now since 2008, Zoe has won a lot of international medals, most notably winning the Commonwealth Games and even meddling in two others, as well as meddling in two European championships. Despite an incredibly exciting battle between the two of them at the 2019 British Championships, one of the more exciting ones came a couple of months earlier at the 2019 European Championships. Both in the 64 kilo class, Zoe snatched 96 kilos and Sarah 98 kilos for the lead. In the clean and jerk, Sarah hit a competition PR of 125 kilos and Zoe a competition PR of 128 kilos for a kilo win over Sarah and the bronze medal in the total, equaling the heaviest clean and jerk from the session, matching Toma's 128 kilos. Just two months later, they traded British records in the snatch, back and forth. 99 for Sarah, 100 for Zoe, 101 for Sarah. In the end, it was Zoe who took the win. But less than a year prior at the 2018 World Championships, it was Sarah's turn to win. It seems clear that they have set such big records due to the pressure of the other. One pushing the other, the other pushing right back. As many times as it seems that one of them bests the other, the other seems to retaliate, continually edging each other to the peak of their capabilities. Now in separate categories, it will be exciting to see how they can both separately do at the Tokyo Olympics. Though the 64 kilo category seems a bit more competitive right now, requiring a 240 kilo total to come close to an Olympic medal, the 59 kilo class might be slightly easier, with the Chinese Chen Gui Ming unlikely to be selected. It does look possible that Zoe could push towards the 225 kilo medal threshold line. And remember that you can watch a lot more from these two on the Weightlifting House Patreon page, along with many other elite athlete videos, podcasts, and programs. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more. For more interviews and programming discussions, check out the Weightlifting House podcast, where we've had nearly 1 million downloads, and the Weightlifting House Instagram page, as we close down on the 100,000 follower mark. Stay safe and happy lifting. No need for Debbie Sarah, Great Britain.